Hello, you should be able to hear me now. <laughs> hello, friends. Hello, Peter. Hey, Anne. How's it going? Exiled Faye. Hello, hello. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I uh, set up the stream with clicky clack cam this morning, and then I remembered I'm not clicky clacking today. Uh, you were you were the first person to say something in chat, as far as I can see, Peter. Join me in some freestyle jazz. I honestly don't know how to scat either. I I think it's gorgeous when other people do it. Um. <laughs> Taste my freestyle jazz. I I love when someone can like improvise uh, any form of music, not just jazz. Um, but I am just not that artistically inclined, in actual fact. <laughs> How is everyone this morning? Uh, I'm running late, of course, because of course I am, as usual. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I've been running late since like 12 o'clock last night. I um, have this game that I bought um, called Pseudo Cats. Uh, it's Sudoku with cats, in case anyone's like, the heck is that? It's Sudoku, but instead of numbers, it's cats, and I love it. Um, and last night at like, I don't know, 11.45, I was like, I'm gonna do their daily puzzle, because they put out like a daily Sudoku puzzle. And I was like, it's fine. It'll only take me like 20 minutes. And so 20 minutes later, I fucked up. <laughs> um, I had a line where I had clearly screwed up like which cats went where. And I had an impossible, I had an impossible scenario where the only cats that would fit in the square couldn't go in that square because then you would have double the cats, right? Because you have to have one. It's the same rules as Sudoku, right? So you have to have one of each cat in each line, uh, in each row, column, and square, right? So I had to start that thing over. <laughs> and there was... The rational part of me was like, just go to bed. It's fine. You don't need to restart a Sudoku puzzle at midnight. And then there was the part of me that does puzzles that was like, you got to finish this bitch. <laughs> um, so I started over and I finished it. And I went to bed at 1.30 in the morning, as you do. Like, you know, perfectly normal. Uh, and so that happened. So I pretty much knew uh, from the time that that happened that the stream wasn't going to happen on time. Uh, <laughs> and here I am. Isn't that the Norman streaming? I think it is, honestly. Like, I used to be really, um, what's the right word? Like, I used to be really, um, careful about making sure I was on time and getting up early to get on for my streams and stuff. And I've kind of just realized that, like, it's better to just go with the flow, get there when you get there. Like, people aren't necessarily... I mean, yeah, my husband will sass me for fun if I'm late, but um, in all honesty, I think most people just want the, the chill vibes and they want you to be yourself. And if it takes you an extra half an hour to get there, it takes you an extra half an hour to get there. Welcome back, Exiled Bay. The house is clear. Nice. The amount of how many times I'm late or just saying that I will be back and then I'm passed out and never to be heard from again. Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like when you first start streaming, you have this, like, ex you think that people have expectations, right? And you're like, I have to be on time, I have to keep a schedule, I have to let people know what's happening with me if there was supposed to be a stream and I just suddenly fucked off for some reason. And I think what, what actually is true is people just want to hang out when you're there and if you're not feeling it or if you're running late or whatever they don't really want you to stress like the majority of people aren't going to be like oh my god you went live like five minutes late um so i kind of don't i'm kind of at the point where i'm like okay if i'm running late on my morning routine 
the more important thing is to get through my morning routine. Because when I do my morning routine, it's all like things that need to get done before I start work, right? I have to shower. I have to make coffee. I have to eat something. Nobody wants me to be on stream without coffee. Let's be honest. <laughs> so I, I think you just kind of learn. You hit a certain point where you're like, people just want you to be genuine rather than like bending over backwards for something. Um... Somebody made a stinky poop. Oh no! I given how many pets you have in the house, Xylfay, <laughs> I can imagine that needs to be dealt with quickly. I try to start as close to the top of the hour, as close to half past the hour as I can. I used to sit on the starting stream screen for ages, but then I started wanting to play the games and begin quick. Yeah, I don't like to stay on the starting soon screen for very long because I feel like once I'm live, then then people are expecting me. Then I want to be on camera as much as possible. I have notifications for a reason. It'll let me know when you're on. Yeah, ex well, exactly. And I think you learn. Like, I felt like um, when I first started streaming, I was like, I need to announce ahead of time when the stream is going to be so people know because no one's just going to show off off the cuff. And then I had weeks where I genuinely couldn't, s like, schedule streams. And what I found was that people showed up just as much to those streams. So now I'm much more, much more chill about it. The schedule is more if you want to be dependent on being a streamer full time. Definitely. And I think, um, and like, I've had that conversation with my husband too. Cause he's like, when he first started streaming, that was the conventional advice was you have to have a schedule. And now he's kind of like, I've realized that that's really only if you want to be like making full time money. And he's like, this is just my side gig. There's no point in me having a schedule. I never know what time it is to begin with, especially with time zones. Time zones are confusing. I feel like the community will be like, hey, you okay, rather than you done messed up. Well, that's true too. Whenever I post in the Discord and I'm like, hey guys, I'm not feeling well, I always get at least one or two people who send me a message and are like, hey, are you doing okay? Like, <laughs> do you need anything? And I appreciate that because like, it, it shows me that you guys care about me as me rather than just, you know, a block of time on Twitch that gets filled. Uh, I do try to keep my schedule consistent, though, but sometimes I'm just like, blah. Exactly, I'm the same. And, like, I've always had a rotating schedule every week anyway, so I try to get three streams in a week. But I've kind of realized, like, if I can only do two streams in a week... It's better for me to do that and just like rest up and have better streams the next week than show up and just be like, hey guys, I hate today. Let's do a thing. Like nobody wants that. <laughs> Least of all me. Um, you guys don't usually see me like that because I don't stream on those days, but there are days where I'm literally like, yo, the morning can fuck off. <laughs> One dog, but he doesn't make stinky poop in the house. I actually figured it was probably one of the cats, exiled Faye. In all honesty, I didn't want to like call out your cats, but I figured it was probably one of the cats. <laughs> I usually have the starting screen for like five minutes. Yeah, I've noticed that some streamers are okay with like letting it run longer, which is fine. I mean, everyone has their own method. Uh, for me, I try to only be on there for like two or three minutes. It's usually just because I'm finishing up my coffee. Apple, hello! How is it going? <clears throat> I care about you as you and your octopus alter ego. My octopus alter ego appreciates that. Also, Afima. She is bloody magical. I love her. You can tell my mood instantly, so if I'm not as cheerful, I won't stream because I'm not going to hide my irritation. And I mean, that's the best way to do it. Honestly, like, being fake in front of the camera, people can instantly tell. People can instantly tell that you are not yourself that day or that you're having it rough. So I'm always honest, too. Like, if I'm having a low energy day, I'm like, hey, guys, I'm low energy today, but let's do this, right? Um, if I'm, like, ultra, like, dragging my ass through the day, those are the days where I hang out in somebody else's stream. <laughs> I'm like, I am lurking on you while I drag my ass through my work, right? I think the path to affiliate is a big push, and then when people make affiliate, they kind of ease off and rest back because we know we're never going to make partner. I mean, exactly. Um, and I'm fine with... I, you know what? I occasionally take a peep at my analytics. I'm not, like... I don't go in every stream afterwards and be like, how many people watched me today? 
I go in and look at my analytics from time to time. I think I've got like 10 viewers on average most streams. I'm happy with that because that means on average 10 people are chilling with me having a chill day getting some work done. And that's what I'm here for. I, my big thing is the writing. I never got into streaming to be like, to be a big like partner and make money off of my, I mean, I'd love to have a little bit of money on the side. It's, uh, I'm not going to complain, but it's, I'm doing all this stuff anyway. So I'm just here to share that time and that space and that vibe. And if, if only two or three people hang out with me on any given day, that's cool. Like that's the whole point, right? Doing well. Glad to hear it. Apple. Do you have classes today? Is it a, is it a day off? I can't get 10 people to show with me in real life. It's funny because, um, I didn't go to my husband's company Christmas party last year. I think I mentioned this on stream around the time that it happened. Um, it was the first time they had done a Christmas party since COVID started, but a bunch of them had been sick like right before, not necessarily with COVID, but there was just sickness going around the school. And I looked at my husband and I was like, I can't wear a mask to what is essentially a dinner and drinks party. Like, so I didn't go because I was like, we're supposed to be going on a trip in two weeks, which didn't happen. Um, and I, I was like, I don't want to be sick and then get on a plane. I was like, if I go, I'm going to catch. And a bunch of them came down with the sickness like the next week. Right. But it was funny because he went to the Christmas party and one of his coworkers was like, where's Megan? Why is it just you? <laughs> I wanted to hang out with Megan and I was like. I appreciate that your coworkers like me so much, but it mystifies me because I feel like I'm the most boring person. I'll be honest with me, it sometimes mystifies me that anybody shows up to my streams because I feel like I'm the most boring person. <laughs> so people are like, I wanted to hang out with Megan. You're just the consolation prize. But she actually told my husband, you're just the consolation prize. I was like, okay, I mean, I'll take it. I think it's really weird, but cool. Um, as you guys can see, just to introduce you guys to what's going to be happening on my screen while I'm blabbing at you today, um, this is the cool fancy font that is on this right here, the covers of my Celestial Serenade, which by the way, Smooth Jazz is out on Monday. If you want to check it out, use that exclamation new release to get the link. Novasaurus Rex, hello! How are you? I totally understand that feeling. People show up and I'm like, hello, you want to be here? Exactly. <laughs> um, I look at my analytics every day. I generally have about two to three viewers per stream and sometimes I get bothered by it. I wish people would come vibe more. I mean, I feel like, honestly, first of all, Ghost has pointed out several times you can't trust the Twitch analytics anyway. There's a much better tool actually that measures this kind of stuff for you. And like, really, you should be doing it for yourself anyway. My, I mean, my advice is always do whatever you're doing for yourself. And then that way, if other people come hang with you, it's just a nice bonus. Uh, my family can throw a party. It's just been a while. I know, I know what you mean. Like, I, there are people that I hang, I want to hang out with in real life. It's just they are, they work in a germ factory. <laughs> this is the only way I get people to hang with me is by streaming. This is the only way that I feel like comfortable hanging with more than two people right now because I still have to do the mask thing everywhere I go. I normally teach later in the day, but I'm off from that to kick off the start of a festival at the college. Oh, that's awesome. Apple, that sounds so cool. I hope the festival goes well. I'm assuming, is it like a music festival or is there music involved? I assume there's music involved in the festival. Uh, my imposter syndrome would be so strong if I were in your shoes. Hey, Southpaw. Um, it's cute of you to assume that I don't have imposter syndrome. <laughs> um, honestly, I think I've just hit the age where I don't care anymore. I'm 37. I'm going to be 38 in June. Um, and I, it's taken me, you know... 20 years, but I've finally hit the point where I'm like, 
I just don't care. I'm gonna be unabashedly myself, and if people don't like me, there's a door, and they can go through it, and whatever. Um, I wish I had been able to be that way at 18. <laughs> um, but I'm here now, and I think the pandemic helped. I think I just don't give a flying fuck anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still... I still get those days where the demons are like, everything you do is garbage and no one will ever like you. And I'm like, okay. And I try to push them out the door and, and just keep doing it. Um, it's, uh, it's like, was it Carrie Fisher who said, you'll be afraid, do it anyway? Do it anyway. Do it for you. And if other people show up or enjoy it, bonus. Doing good today? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It's Friday. It, you know, can't can't really be too upset on a Friday. <laughs> and we have plans to go out with people tomorrow, which I'm excited about. And then we're coming home and playing Monster Camp with uh, Jay Chili and Bard Owl. So I'm excited about that. Very much doing it for myself, despite the radio career and everything. I don't want to be popular. I just want to hang out with people. I mean, that makes total sense. Yeah, I'm the same exiled Faye. I've gone out of the house a few times and forgotten my mask and just been like, whatever. Um, usually when we're going to a store that's pretty empty, but I try to always remember to wear my mask. I already told Ghost Pepper I'm wearing my mask tomorrow because we were talking about doing an escape room with some of his coworkers. And I love them, but they work in a germ factory. So during the escape room, I will be wearing a mask. <laughs> Uh, guitar festival. That's awesome. Concerts, lectures, masterclass, and more. That sounds amazing. I hope you have tons of fun. Carrie Fisher was amazing. She's like, she is still my guiding star, honestly. It's, the world needed her for way longer than we had her. Uh... <clears throat> I got bothered by the fact that you're sitting at 149, so you're now at 150. Oh, and thank you so much for being Peter's 150th follower. Uh, so yeah, this is the fancy font font that is on my covers, but as you can see, it's not actually a font. My um, cover artist uses uh, like the new like Adobe Illustrator, which I don't have, so she can essentially load this into her program and make nifty words out of it way easier than I can. I basically have to copy and paste each of these words um, into chapter labels for um, the latest uh, Celestial Serenade. So if you look here, you can see that there are chapter labels and we are now going to make a folder called book three. Um, I don't know why it just changed the entire spacing. That's annoying. But now we have book three. Um, and what I'm hoping is that because I have 49 chapters of words already done, um, that I will be able to use some of these to make it uh, faster and easier to do this job. But this is basically what I'm going to be doing um, while we are chatting and vibing today. I'm not planning on writing today, so I'm not planning on using the sprint timer, but any of you writers hanging out in the chat who want the sprint timer, please let me know. I will run sprints for you. I see Exiled Faye. I know you like to work on your stuff when I'm streaming. I also see Anne. Um, I know, I don't know if you usually write while you're lurking in my chat, but I know that you are a writer constantly trying to get those words out. So, anybody wants a uh, sprint timer, please let me know. I will run sprints for you. I will turn on that timer. I'll probably be a little bit more chatty while the timer's going than usual, so if you need to mute me, that's fine. But I 100% want you guys to know that if you want that timer to get you on task, you 100% can have it. I do the same, and honestly. Um, I will say, though, usually when I'm not working in the mornings, I hang out in Comf Comf stream. And she's really good at like getting back on task when her break timer goes off. So I do, I do often use like her timer to get me to get back to work. Hey, just say the word and I will hit that timer button for you. And honestly, and I can, I can keep it running in cycles. 
Uh, I'm 100% happy to do that because these streams aren't just for me, they're for you guys too. Uh, I have to remember where I put my chapter titles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm like, what do I need to do? Oh yeah, I need to know like what the titles actually are because I don't have them memorized. Um, I've already forgotten the name of the first chapter, which makes me sad because I don't think I actually have anything. I don't think I actually have the words for that. Basically, every time... Every time there's a title, I just look through all the previous titles, but I don't have the words for that one, so that sucks. So the first chapter is called Illicit Dealings, and I just need to remember... Um, what size I make these. Image size. So it's 1,000 by 100. I apologize because this isn't going to be, like, what's happening on my screen isn't going to be the most exciting thing. But hopefully, like, the chatting can make up for it. Uh, timer would be useful. I should write, but it's actually the actual starting part I'm struggling with. Southpaw, I feel you. I, every, every morning I'm like, I need to start. Um, I'm on my third rewrite and edit and I'm struggling with the opening chapter. Oh gosh, opening chapters are butts because you spend so much time on them. They get so much more attention than everything else, but because they're the first thing you wrote in that project, they're also always the roughest. So it's like they get the most attention, but they also need the most attention. Um, and sometimes I just, sometimes I forbid myself to work on my first chapter for a while because otherwise. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and for you guys who want to do some writing, I'm actually just going to start the timer. It's going to be there for anyone who wants to use it. 20 minutes on the clock for you guys. Make sure that is centered. And good luck, good luck with your sprinting. I'm gonna, you'll see how wonderfully exciting this is. I'm just gonna start copying and pasting letters. Oh yeah. Uh, every time I do this, I'm like, why did I decide to do this? But also then I load the labels into the book and they look so good. <laughs> um, Next time I run out to reheat my coffee, I'll grab I'll grab one of the paperbacks, um, and and show you guys that they just they just end up looking so gorgeous. So I'm like, fine, I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll spend this time. I think the last time I did them on stream, we were doing uh, labels for. Um, the books that went out last year, which were actually all of the chapter labels were, um, all of the chapter titles were in Italian. Cause I actually went, um, when I commit to something, I commit to something. And I actually, um, I actually looked up a bunch of musical terms, which most of them are in Italian, um, to, to title all of the chapters. Um, and it made this even harder because I did not actually know how to spell most of the chapter labels. I had to keep going. I had to constantly keep going back um, and look at what I was what I was making. But again, they were gorgeous. So it's hard to complain. Now there's probably a better way to do this than the way I do it. I just kind of eyeball it. a lot of eyes in the word illicit just putting that out there just putting that out there got so get so exhausted of reading through my first few scripts uh, or chapters I know it gets good but I've read them so many times I can't deal through the end look by the time I'm reading a book for although I will say um I do put, I try to put time in between each of my re, my rereads because you do get sick of it. You get sick of your own work. That does happen. Um, I try to put enough time 
in between, like, before my final read-through for publication that it feels new and exciting again. Um, I started reading Smooth Jazz for, for formatting, and I really, I actually really enjoyed it, so... Uh, like I said, I've said a couple times, like every now and then as a creative, you, you kind of level up and you feel like you figure out how to do things a little bit better. And I definitely leveled up right, right around the time that I started working on Smooth Jazz. Um, and I feel like it's just that much a cut above more, like better than the rest of my work, uh, up to that point. So... Of course, I also am now like, did I go backwards when I started writing Arvalia Chronicles? But that's a whole other... <laughs> that's a whole other can of worms. I'm actually leaning really badly. I need to straighten my back. And I don't know why I'm leaning. It's just kind of happening. Got this, got this lumbar support pillow for a reason. And I should let it actually keep my posture good feeling good looking good feeling good I feel like that T is like one pixel smaller than all the other letters first chapter is called illicit dealings word two <laughs> First word done, second word. Extra big space. I feel like what I should do is turn on the guidelines, but they never... just move that? Can I just like drag that down? Whoops. Maybe this will be, maybe this will be more helpful, maybe? Maybe? Unless I have to set them for every new image, that might be a pain in the ass. Illicit D is a great Tinder profile name. <laughs> True. <gasps> pizza arrived! Exiled Faye, what kind of pizza are you eating? Also, I hope it's delicious. I'm leaning again. What's going on with me today? I'm so excited to see all of us that the lean is real, right? White pizza from a local pizza shop. Ooh. Uh, I am making... Um, chapter labels for uh smooth jazz for the paperback that's what i'm doing uh sprint timer is on for anyone who wants to use it and i will i will turn it back on when it runs out the guides are helping I feel. I mean, you can only speed up this process so much, but...
I feel like I'm sick of the letter I already. There's been so many in this label. an extra big pain in the butt. One more letter, and the first one's done. And I might sneeze. I'm here playing Wheel of Fortune, illicit death. <laughs> illicit dealings. Um, I'm keeping, I'm keeping the, I mean, the chapter labels themselves aren't, um, a spoiler so much, but the titles are written right above a, uh, massive summary of the entire book of Smooth Jazz, which is coming out on Monday, so I don't want to inadvertently flash you guys, like, the entire plot of that book. <laughs> I'm sure some of you would like to read it, <laughs> and actually you know, discover what happens without just being told. Alright, and then... Boop! Try to make sure there's the right amount, the same amount on both sides, and then we save this as a PNG, and it is chapter one. Yay! 15 more to go. So if I make another new... So how do I just copy my guides over? Is there a way to do that? Lock guides. Didn't necessarily help. Hang on. Let me ask Google. Select the first document, file scripts, guides copy. I don't have that option.
Wow, that was the least helpful. Apparently, I can just... I guess what I could do... You know what I could just do? This is so silly. There we go. <laughs> saved it so we'll just make our own shortcut do you guys want to like guess what the chapters are do you want me to not say the titles as I'm making them is that is that the game we'll play today Forgot it already. Oh, yeah. Do I? Please tell me that I have some of these words already. I do have one. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's two words. <laughs> chapter two, Peter. Chapter three, more Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 4, The Good, The Bad, and The Peter. <laughs> Death by D is a chapter uh, in my other, um, under my other pen name. My brow's name, if you will. <laughs> no, please. Listen, I knew as soon as I said, do you want to guess, and I started a word with the letter D that there were going to be certain guesses, and I'm okay with it. I mean, Death by D does sound like a good uh, a good title for my pen name, my brow's name. Click on the right stuff, that'd be helpful. Is that somehow bigger than... Oh, for fuck's sake. It is. I don't understand. <gasps> I don't understand! <laughs> Why? They were all made with the same guide. Ugh! I changed my mind. I hate the guidelines. Why am I doing it this way? <laughs> Death by Susu. Are these for the paperback version only? Do they show up in the ebook? They are on the paper. The the the. They are on the paperback version only because um, the way Amazon WhisperNet works is if you have a bunch of images in the Kindle version. They actually, like, charge you for the delivery. It's really stupid. It's a nickel and diming thing. 
Um, but in order to keep the file sizes down, uh, cause they're all separate images, right? Cause I have to do them all as separate images. If they were a font, I would put them in as a font, but because they're images, I leave them out. Um, so they are for the paperback version only, but it's not, it's not to make the, uh, like to differentiate or to make the ebook any less. It's just that silly little, if I start upping the file size, um, and then the paperback or the um, box set would have like 50 of them in it. So um, I kind of hate that it's that way, but it is it is what it is. Uh, so they are for just the paperback version. I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna run and reheat my coffee and I'll grab I'll grab one of my paperbacks and show you guys what it looks like. If they were, if it, if it was like possible to do it with just like one or two images, I totally would. Cause I put the maps and stuff in there. Um, but just because there's like 50 of them. Eventually. Illicit dealings and dead ends. Heck yeah. Uh, and then I guess I'm basically gonna do that. I guess I need to, um... weird. I don't know why it made it pink. There we go. <laughs> I was like, um, excuse me? Uh, hey, Normsend, how's it going? Senator, hello! How are you? What is up? Gotta head into work, but gonna leave a lurk. Appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day as well. Um... <clears throat> Original 4K footage digitally restored. <laughs> I'm leaving my Sims unsupervised in the background. That ought to be amusing when I tab back into it. Oh, I hope they don't. Uh, <laughs> I hope they don't fall into a pool and then the and then the ladder gets removed. Gonna be a good afternoon, but actually have to go to the office. Oh, that sucks. I'm assuming you usually work from home, which I mean, as you can tell from my whole this is probably my preferred <laughs> aesthetic. Uh, but good luck. Hybrid, oh, okay. Well, good luck at the office. I hope it's a good office afternoon. 
Um, it is break time, according to the writing timer. I am going to pop AFK, like I said, just for, I think since the timer has run out, I'll actually just pop into BRB mode for one minute. Um, I'll go grab that book and reheat my coffee and be back. Uh, Norm send, what is up? Uh, welcome in. This is not my typical, uh, stream. Usually I'm writing. Usually you would see a Word document and, uh, my finger's doing some clicky clackies, but we are making chapter labels for a book today, uh, which is coming out on Monday. Uh, and we're just chatting about, usually we chat about writing stuff, but today we're just chatting about whatever. Um, it's nice to meet you. Uh, so I apologize for this not being the usual chaos. I'm going to pop JFK. What? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're working on a project, feel free to uh, tell us about it. And otherwise, feel free to chill, vibe, get some work done. Uh, and I, I will be right the back. I might switch to a bigger cam for a minute. It was just a whimsy I had when you said pop AFK. <laughs> it's fine, Peter. It made me chuckle. Um, I've so far I've only had elders die of woohoo exhaustion. Is that a thing that can actually happen in The Sims? <laughs> really? Um, that game never sees it. I know you can, like, isn't there, like, a DLC where you can have babies with aliens or something? The Sims never ceases to surprise me. Let me see. Do I have a big... Hang on. 
Hang on. You guys should be able to hear me, though you might not be able to see me. Sorry, it'll it'll just be... I don't know my way around, uh... Video capture, there we go. There we go! <laughs> um, here we are. I just wanna have a big... I just want to have a big camera for a second so that I can show you guys. So I grabbed two of them. Uh, so we have the first, the first book, The End of All Things, and uh, book five, Unity. This is one of my favorite covers, honestly. Um, so here we go. And then this is what uh, the chapter labels look like in uh, the paperbacks. So they are gorgeous. Um, totally, totally worth, totally worth putting in there. Um, I love, I love the font for sure. Um, it's just a pain in the butt to create them. Uh, and then of course we have these ones, which are, as you can see, in Italian. And so they have the labels, they have the labels underneath them telling you what uh, the musical term means. Um, so yeah, this is why I spend the time. Like, it comes out really pretty. Um, but it is a lot of work. I have to say, I have been thinking for some time. This is something you guys will have to, um, tell me if you're interested in. I've been thinking for a while I should do sort of a thing where I offer certain books as, like, signed. So what I would do is I would see how much interest there was, see if I could basically buy a batch copy of you know, 10, 12, however many, however many people are interested of my paperbacks, right? So like if I do, if I offer the end of all things and I get 10 or 12 people who want this book, want a signed copy of this book, right? I could buy a batch copy of them sent to me. Hey, woof, I hope it's going well. Enjoy the lurk. I could get a batch copy of them sent to me right? And sign them all and then send them out to the people who ordered them, right? So it would have to be, there'd have to be like an order form people might have to commit to like paying in advance. It'll be a little expensive because international shipping, <laughs> but um, if uh, you've got this one, Peter, I love, I love all of the covers in all honesty. Um, but yeah, so if people would be interested in that, then I could do something like that. Um, I'm thinking I would do it first with the book ones. So like I also have sitting over here um, a copy of Dreamers Do Lie. Um, and you can see that I made, I made the chapters uh, pretty for that one too. Um, so I could do, I could start with, say, the end of all things, and then, you know, if people are, are interested in another series, I could do a Dreamers Do Lie one, I could do an Eternity's Empire one. Um, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll drop a message in the Discord and you guys can let me know if that's something you're interested in. I might try to do something like that over the summer, uh, if people want to do something like that, it, like I said, it would be a little bit more pricey because I have to get them sent to me and then get them sent to you guys. But Amazon does let me order my books from Canada now, which cuts down on the shipping a little bit. So I think it would be more interested in like an omnibus set, you know, a real chonky one. Yeah, well, what I can do is I could always do um, like a poll in Discord or something where you guys can vote on which book you would like to have be the next one that we do it for. 
Obviously, the omnibus books will be more expensive, right? So it will come down to, I think it'll come down to how many people are interested in which books. But yeah, I'm totally open to doing that. Um, is that a dog barking? Our neighbor's dog is very, <laughs> um, barky. Uh, but yeah, we, we definitely, I could basically just be like, hey, what are people interested in for the next one? And then whichever one gets the most, um, votes would essentially be the one that we would do. Uh, so yeah, I could totally could totally do it that way. Would you do merch like a Dahmer and shirt or something? I want to set up. Um, Ghost has a merch store where he puts his emotes on shirts and stuff. Obviously, I was wearing one yesterday. Um, I would like to set up something similar with um, my Dahmer and emotes, and I would like to set up bookmarks and stuff as well. Um, for some, I have to talk to some of the various artists. Like I have to talk to my cover artist, Molly, and see if it's okay for me to do bookmarks of her stuff. I have to talk to Mumbles and see, um, cause she might want me to pay a little extra to do merch with her, with her emotes versus, um, just using them as emotes. So, um, I have to check a couple of things. It's been, it's been part of the plan for a while. Um... Oh, this music is annoying me. Let's skip ahead. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm totally... And if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, you can let me know like here. You can let me know in Discord. Because um, I, I do want to do... I want people to be able to get the stuff that they want to be able to get. But I do want to do more of that kind of stuff. It's just, sometimes it's hard to know um, what to prioritize. Uh, so if you guys say, hey, I'm interested in Domerin shirts, or I'm interested in signed omnibus books, then I know, okay, uh, let's try and focus on, on making that happen. Oh yeah, let me start the timer for anyone. Anyone who wants to write, let me start the timer for you. We got the octopus hat, Marathnon. Hello, let me grab the octopus hat. I just want to buy Dameron to come to my house. I'm so glad that you appreciate him as much as I do. Um, oh yeah, I should put my headphones back on first. I would love to do... <laughs> I would love to do a stream where I, like, was in character as Dameron for, like, the whole time, but... I'm not as good at that as people think I am. <laughs> I could make it a channel redeem. I could I could do a Domerin takes over channel redeem. <laughs> get a Domerin VTuber. I will I could. I could maybe get um because I know that Mumbles knows how to make them, so I could I could ask her how much it would cost to turn one of the Dameron emotes into a um, into a VTube thing, into a PNG. Marathnon, how you doing? Thank you for don for making me don this lovely octopus hat that was made by the fabulous It's Woof. For anyone who hasn't seen it before. Not uh, how you spell that word. I skipped a letter.
Spelling is much harder when you actually like think about it. You can't just say someone has a nice octopus. I mean, you can't. You can say I've got a nice octopus. <laughs> uh, it's going. It's going pretty. Struck anything lately? I mean, not on stream. <laughs> it's going pretty good. It's Friday. I'm making chapter labels. I feel like it's taken me forty minutes to do two of them, so that's not ideal. But we'll see. <laughs> I never noticed Mr. Wolf entering. He is lurking. He did he did pop in long enough to do a lurky loo. He may have messaged me to inquire about a bread maker today, which I highly encourage because fresh bread is the best, as we established. As we established yesterday, fresh bread, all the fresh bread, always fresh bread. Gonna head to bed. Good night, Marathnon. Thank you so much for dropping by and bringing out this octopus before you headed to bed. Wrong crow. Different book. Man, I can't wait for this book to be available so you guys can meet Reinick. Such a such an a, a dorkable babe. Such an adorkable babu.
There we go. The wrong crap. <laughs> Close. Oh, the next one's gonna be long. It's long. Settle in with a blanket and some snacks for this one. Man, usually when I do these, I like, um, I put like Critical Role or something on in the background. My husband is always like, I don't know how you can just watch all of the Critical Role. And it's like, because I don't watch it, I like put it on in the background while I'm doing something else. Usually stuff like this, like fiddly little whatever. So that my my brain doesn't have to focus too hard. Because it's not, there's no way, so the, f the file isn't um, designed to be loaded into the fonts. And I don't really know how that works. Um, I know that you can, I know how to download a font file and just stick it in my fonts. But this, this file just isn't designed for that. It doesn't have the right digital information. So I can't just drag and drop this file into my fonts folder and have it spit out a font for me. Uh, so I have to do this. Believe me, I'm in year three of doing this. If there was an easier way to do this, I would. <laughs> um, but it's just not the right, it's just not the right type of font or file. Which, um... My cover artist did offer to do these for me, but she would have to charge. Um, and because, um, you know, budget is limited. <laughs> um, I, and also she's very busy. Um, I decided to just go ahead and, and do them myself. She sends me the titles for the title page and I do the chapter labels. Um, but it is a pain in the dick, I'm not gonna lie.
Um, so I think it's the way, I, I don't, I don't necessarily think it has anything to do with the way the letters are formed. I think it has to do with the way the file is encoded. Um, so there's a certain type of file that you use to load into your, your font area. Um, like, it's just the way the, that the information is encoded. I don't, I essentially, I don't know. Somebody hasn't already done it for me and I don't know how to do it. Um, so this is how it goes. <laughs> um, I might write about ultra, ultra techie characters, but I am not ultra techie myself. But, um, hopefully, hopefully when we do the Aravalia Chronicles, uh, Molly will choose a, um, <laughs> uh, a font that, uh, I can actually, you know, font. Uh, she, I let her do, I let her do whatever her thing is. And I just work with that. She knows what she's doing. It's sending me down a rabbit hole. Listen, I think I went down that same rabbit hole when I first uh, started doing this. And I basically, I mean, that was three years ago. Maybe there's an easier way to do it now. Um, but I basically concluded that this was it. There's going to be just enough uh, word, just enough room for this word. Just enough word for this word. I do think the guides are speeding up the process, which is good. off of this front part or not oh there we go perfect four we've done four of them hooray whoops chapter four not chapter 34 sadly all right 
right, and then there we've got, hooray! Clear this off. I believe we've had more than 10 minutes of the octopus, so I'm gonna pull this off. Oh, my sweet octopus. Oh good, the next one is short. To make up for the last one being stupidly long, this one is short. Totally planned that. Totally thought about how long it would take me to make these when I named these chapters. <laughs> hey, Cademon, how's it going? Lean. I keep doing the lean. I don't know what's up with I don't know what's up with how I'm sitting today. Going fine. Is it is it I forget which time zone you're in, uh Cademon. Is it Friday? Is it Saturday for you already? So Friday still, I'm assuming then. Nice. How has Friday been treating you? I admit I don't know exactly like where the the because I know whenever coffee is streaming, she's always or they're always um the next day ahead from me, but I don't know exactly where the line is where where it becomes the next day. Um if that makes sense. <laughs> There we go. Nice and simple. Plan F. You decide what the, the F stands for. <laughs> there are 16 chapters, so we have 11 more of these to go. Do that? Heck yeah. Plan F, get the D. Browse. <laughs> uh, she's always streaming early in my morning. Yeah, she's always streaming like really late at night for me. Um, not, I guess I shouldn't say really late at night, but later at night, like after I've finished my work day. So I always feel bad because I never, I'm almost never like working at the same time as coffee. I'm just hanging out in the chat. Time zones are, they make sense on some level, but they're so confusing, like, in practice.
Oh yeah, I remember how I do apostrophes because there, there isn't really one. There's a lot of guessing what, how things <laughs> look really in this process. Time is an illusion. Lunchtime, doubly so. That was uh, Douglas Adams, actually. That's where I was quoting it from, anyway. That is uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Flying is the art of throwing yourself at the ground and missing. Love explicit descriptions of how bad guys of how bad guys being devoured by a Meg. Oh, I assume I assume you're reading a, one of Steve Alton's books right then, right now. Then, oh my God, words hate me today. I wondered if that's what you meant by a Meg. Like a, I assume you meant some kind of giant creature. I assume you didn't mean me. <laughs> Though I would love to devour some bad guys. Just putting that out there. Mostly their souls, not so much the flesh. Gaia's eyeballs? Uh, close. It's basically just Gaia's eye. <laughs> nice little, nice little blast from the past there. I think that's spaced enough. Actually, I want to... them just a little bit more. Neo, hello! Everybody hide your baguettes! Neo is here to cry in them. How's it going, Neo? Are you not, uh, are you not in the office today? Are you having a chiller day? I swear on Gaia's eyeballs. <laughs> I like that, actually. <laughs> Um, the movie Megalodon was a disaster. I don't think I've seen that one. Did I see that one? Is that, is that the one with like the underwater facility? Is Jason Statham in it? Have I seen that movie? Was Jason Statham in it? I have seen that movie. I know what you mean, Cade Mon. It, it was, it was interesting. <laughs> 
Neo, is the world coming to an end? You took a day off? What? What? Are you resting on that day off or are you answering your emails? You best not be making phone calls if it's your day off. I'm not resting. I just work unofficially. No, Neo, if you're not getting paid, you don't do work. <laughs> Neo, Neo, please. The book is much better. Um, I, that's, you know, honestly, I have a certain expectation when it comes to like shark movies. I feel like Megalodon, was that the one where they went down into like this rift and the there was like, it was like, a monster from ancient times. I feel like um, it was about what I expected from that kind of movie. But yeah, the book is usually better because more thought usually goes into the into the presentation of things in the book, really. I think I'm gonna do this one and then take another quick break. I wonder if my package got here yet. I wonder if my package got here yet. I'm waiting for a delivery. I'm hoping to show it on stream. If it gets here, uh, it's not showing it's delivered yet though, so it might not have gotten here yet. It's just, it's my next cross stitch. But I wanna show you guys, cause it's gonna be super cute. Neotopia, is that where you just work all the time and you don't care whether or not you get paid? A book about me, what can I say? I'm famous. <laughs> uh, you're an ancient creature from the depths of a... Is that what the X looks like? Dang.
Monster movies can be fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't watch a ton of them myself. They're not really, I mean, I don't mind them, but they're not like my favorite genre or anything. But my brother-in-law loves monster movies. He's seen all of them. It's his jam, 100%. He's seen the good ones. He's seen the bad ones. He loves them all. I'm not working. I just wanted to have a nice big weekend with my family. Oh, well, that's nice. My mother, my brother, and I silently reading in the living room. Neo, that sounds like the best weekend to me. You have no idea. I'm actually going to scooch that over and then scooch that over. Here we go. One more and we'll be halfway. Heck yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a quick bio break. Just a reminder to get up, stretch, move around, grab yourself something to drink, and if you need to, take your meds, very important. Uh, listen, I appreciate silent dates. I appreciate um, sitting in the living room or anywhere really on a park bench, just being silent near people I like and reading something or whatever. It's the best. I read somewhere that tiger sharks, I read somewhere that tiger sharks can live in fresh water. Is that so? I guess they would have to have a way to like get into the lakes, right? Uh, they'd have to have like a big enough passage. Uh, I will be right back. I'm going to do most of the things I just said I was going to do. Get up, stretch, move around, and I will be right back.
I've returned. Still no package. Sad. Enjoy your lurk, Neo. Enjoy your book if you are reading. I will start that sprint timer again here in a second for anyone who is working on words and wants a little extra encouragement to get some heavy focus in. Let me just get let me just get settled back in. Gotta blanket myself and <laughs> gotta blanket myself and get comfy. Get comfy. Um, oh yeah, I should mention, we won't be able to raid him because it's, he's starting later in the day. He's starting at, um, I think 8 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. PST, but my good friend Jay Chili is going to be doing <clears throat> a writing stream tonight. He is, um, he has embarked on a project this year to do personal tales of horror. So he has interviewed our friend Flannelsaurus, and he is going to write a little horror short based on uh, Flanny's, on, whoops, ooh, he's hosting me right now, oh my goodness, on uh, Flanny's personal fears. So check that out. He's going to be doing that tonight. He does mostly gaming streams, but he's going to be writing a bit tonight before he switches over to um, whichever game he is playing. So check him out. Um, he is basically an incarnate of chaos. Uh, <laughs> I won't say the opposite of chill, um, but uh, check him out. I'm going to be hanging out in his chat cheering him on. He doesn't do a lot of writing on streams, so this will be this will be one of his first really deep focus streams. Uh, but I was telling him a bit yesterday about how I run my timers and stuff. Speaking of sprint for those of you who are sprinting and I'm gonna do chapter eight which is another long word <laughs> why do I do this to myself why do I do this to myself Ooh, I just twisted my foot weirdly. That didn't feel good.
I feel like that's pretty well spaced. Tell me I've got an inn somewhere. Heck yeah. Got an in the. Which books like that I've read, or which books that I've written would I want to see as a t uh, as a TV series? Honestly, I always get torn the idea of seeing books as TV series because I always worry they won't translate well. Footprints in the D sounds painful. Totally. I would not want footprints in the D. Um, that I have written, I would love to see the Celestial Serenade as uh, some kind of series. Uh, I would love to see Aravalia Chronicles as some kind of series. Um, I don't know that either of them would ever work very well because they would have to be very large in budget, <laughs> but I would love, I would love to see those stories, um, played out that I've read just, um, I would have loved to see a Dragon Riders of Pern series. It never panned out. Again, I think special effects would have been a major factor. Uh, the Incarnations of Immortality by Piers Anthony. I really liked those books. I think those would have made an interesting series. Um, I don't know. Any, anything that I've ever read that felt remotely cinematic. Um, <laughs> I would love to see them do a never-ending story series that was based on the book instead of what they did for the movies. Because uh, I think that would be super cool. They could do so, so much with it. Uh, I would love to see Poppy War series as a TV series. Oh, I've never heard of that before. Um, they are making Good Omens. Uh, they are making a second season of Good Omens, which I'm excited about. I really liked the Good Omens series. I would love to see them make Ocean at the End of the Lane into a movie. I don't think they ever would, but it would be so cool. Oh, I already have the U. I need an S.
perfect. Uh, the movie is only half of the book. Yes. Have tried to read the second half of the book, but I can see why they stopped. Bastion goes off the rails. But have you read the end, though? You have to read the end because it makes so much sense why it happens that way. Um, thank you, Cademon. I will open that and take a look at it after Strem. Oh, I think I've heard of this. The cover seems familiar. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, no, you have to- get Bastion does go completely off the rails. And there was a second never-ending story movie which kind of sort of touched on the second half of the book, but it wasn't very good. Um, but when you look at the story as a complete whole, it's so much more meaningful than what the first movie does. And even what they tried to do with the second movie. It's so good. It's my favorite book ever. In case anyone's ever wondering, like, what's Megan's all-time favorite book? Top favorite book of all time, The NeverEnding Story. I've read it so much that my my copy has, has disintegrated. Second favorite book of all time, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, a trilogy in five books. Never, never when I was reading it did I realize how much would I, I would identify with the statement, a trilogy in five books during my writing career. <laughs> but I do. Chapter nine. Do I have a knot somewhere? I do. Let me just make one. Hey, Angel Faith. Thank you. They're a pain to make, but they look gorgeous when they're done. Are you writing today? What are you up to? Plotting your novel? How's it going? How How is the plot coming? Is it coming together for you?
Need to think about my character goals. That's a good, that's a very good thing to do. To think about the goals and also the challenges. That's, that's what I do with my um, projects when I plot out my edits is I, I like to write down um, what my character's motivations are for each scene and what the challenges are that stand in their way. Um, Cause if you find a place where characters aren't motivated or aren't being challenged, then you know you need to do something with that part of the book. I definitely have, um, I'm gonna be, so I'm finishing up writing book 12 of Aravalia Chronicles right now, and then I'm gonna go back and edit, edit books um, seven, eight, and nine. And book nine needs particular attention because the plot is very scattered. Um, it it has like the foundation of the of the the plot in there, uh, but it doesn't have quite enough connectivity. Like it's kind of like introduction to plot, other things going on conclusion of the plot and there needs to be a more logical lead up like connection between the two so i'm i'm racking my brains trying to figure out how to make it feel a bit more cohesive It's so hard, like when you first when you first write a story, and this is why I say this all the time, like with, with your rough drafts, if it doesn't feel like enough is happening, if it doesn't feel like it's quite a cohesive whole, that's okay for a rough draft. Because the first time you tell a story, there are so many things that are gonna slip past your notice. Like it takes so many passes um, and, and so much rethinking and, and going back to the drawing board. And sometimes, like, honestly, for me, I just put things in a completely different order. Um, so I try not to worry too much sometimes when I'm writing the first draft, if it doesn't feel like if it's in order, or if it feels like things are going to need to be more spaced, like spaced or paced differently. I don't worry about that too much in your first draft, because there are so many things that can slip past your notice. Um, and I almost always, this is a, like, a known issue with me, I almost always forget to, to include enough information about my subplots in my first draft. I had constantly have to go back and make sure that my secondary characters get enough character development in my second draft, because they just, they fall into the void, and then I get to a point where I need them, um, them and I'm like, but we haven't seen these characters in like a book and a half. They can't just disappear for a book and a half and then show up when they're important. I need to actually like account for what they're doing. They need to actually have like a plot. Um, so if that happens, like don't beat yourself up too much because um, it, it happens to the best of us, right? There are so many moving pieces in a novel that you just can't keep track of them all in one go. This is why my secret project is on its fourth first draft. I listen, exiled Faye, I feel you. I have a story um, that has never seen the light of day because I have written it three times and I still am not happy with it. Um, I can't seem to find a way to express the concepts of the story in a way that feels um, like it's doing justice to the story. Like I've told the story, I've told the story three different ways and I'm not happy with it. Um, and it, it was a short story. I tried to make it like a novella. I just don't know. I've not, it's a concept that I want to do something with, uh, but I just haven't been able to figure it out yet. Sometimes stories are hard. Like, well, always stories are hard, but some are harder than others. Took a day and apparently everyone is amazed. Well, Neo, you didn't take any time off when you were sick. So of course we're amazed that you willingly took a day off. Let me just point out that when I asked you point blank, if you ended up having lung problems because of COVID, because you didn't rest 
during the sickness. You said yes. This is why all of us are like, OMG. Let's move these two just a little bit. More in that direction. It's only because we know you, Neo. And we love you the way that you are. We're not necessarily asking you to change as long as you're not, like, murdering yourself from working too hard. But I, you know what? I am glad to see that you are taking time off, that you are uh, resting, that you're prioritizing family. Those are important things. If you were a character in one of my books, I would say character growth. Exiled Faye, thank you for the hydrate. I have water here too, if you'd prefer that I go for the for the water, but I'm gonna go coffee for now. The Shallows is a great shark movie. Oh. I'll have to ask my brother-in-law if he's seen that one. I'm sure he has, he's seen them all. Hair is just like a little too tight in one spot because it's still partially wet. So I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it to not tug every time I shift my head. The eternal problems of having long hair. After now. Not exactly famous. Uh, my main character's goal should be for the rest of the novel. So that's a good question. Um, it's okay for your main character to have more than one goal, and it's okay for your main character's goal to change. Um, at the beginning of the novel, your main character should have a goal that's based on the inciting incident. So just a little bit of shop talk here. Um, the inciting incident is essentially whatever happens to make your main character abandon their regular, normal status quo and go in search of adventure. Sometimes this happens right like off the bat, right at the first beginning page of your novel. Um, in the Aravalia Chronicles, um, this actually happens sort of off camera almost uh, because Clara wakes up in a world that is not her world. And that's her inciting incident is that she needs to get home to her status quo. We don't even see her status quo. We just see her waking up in the middle of this inciting incident and, and having to figure it out, right? In the Celestial Serenade, the inciting incident happens on the very first page. This giant metallic dragon descends out of the sky and starts burning Gaia's city to the ground around her, right? Inciting incident. Your life has changed. You need to do something in order to fix the problem. Um, 
The main character's goal doesn't necessarily have to be to fix the problem. Sometimes it's to fix the problem. Sometimes it's to escape the problem. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's to get back to status quo, right? Um, so your main character's goal at the beginning of the story may change as they get more information, as they realize how difficult the main task might be. The main character might have to sometimes leave their main goal aside in order to complete smaller goals. So you may have one goal for the entire novel, but your main character may also have smaller goals that they fulfill along the way. Those smaller goals may work towards the fulfillment of the ultimate goal, or sometimes what happens at the midpoint turn, the heel turn, when the other shoe drops, is your main character's goal might change completely. They might decide that what they were originally working towards isn't what they want, or that it won't actually happen, or that it would actually be a bad thing if they tried to do that. And then your main char character's goal might change completely. So your main character could have a goal that encompasses the entire novel, but they might not. It might change. And that's okay. It's okay for your main character's goal to change. It's okay for that to happen several times. You want to have a cohesive theme across your whole novel, um, but you don't necessarily have to have your character working towards the same thing all the time. The main character can die all of a sudden. If you're George R. R. Martin, absolutely. <laughs> Exiled Faye, we went to the same place. We're on that wavelength together. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, Angel Faye. It's a very good question because I always struggled with that too, especially when I was first starting to learn story structure. I think some people would tell you that yes, your main character does have to have the same goal throughout the novel, but that's very limiting, um, especially if there's a twist in the middle of your novel, um, at which point your main character might actually end up going in a completely different direction um, than they started in. Um, trying to, I'm trying to kind of think of examples, but we were talking about the never ending story earlier. So the first half of the book of the never ending story is about this mythical place called Fantasia that is dying. It is disappearing into literal nothing. Uh, and so Bastion, the main character's quest throughout the beginning of the novel is to find a way to save Fantasia. Um, and then at the midpoint of the book, that occurs. The, the way to save Fantasia happens, and Bastion is actually drawn into this magical world um, as part of this process. And so his goal for the second half of the story is not to save Fantasia, because Fantasia has already been saved, but to escape Fantasia, to get home, right? So your main character's goal can change. That's totally fine. That explains why I've called my love life Fantasia. <laughs> Went to get milk and now I'm back. Welcome back, Peter. So if I write three goals for my two main characters, it would be good. Yes, absolutely. And each of your main characters should have their own goals and they might not be the same goal. So that makes perfect sense, Angel Faye. 100%, you're not doing anything wrong by doing that. I thought you were going to say, if you're Jar Jar Banks. <laughs> Listen, I didn't hate Jar Jar Banks as much as some people did, but I totally buy into the theory that he was actually a Sith the whole time. It's one of the few fan theories where I'm like, yeah, I can actually get on board with that. Why do I have such long words in these titles? Ugh. I do this to myself. Why don't I think what is it going to be like to make that chapter label when I name these chapters? Wrong answers only. <laughs> the real answer, of course, is that uh, the needs of the story are paramount, but you know.
Just wait for the poor son who will have to make the titles for the German edition. <laughs> uh, hopefully it's not me. I know a little bit about how German verbs work and I don't want to go there. I'm not sure how layer five got all the way over there, but sure. Heck yes, not written by a robot. <laughs> We're almost done with this word. Second word. Clicked everywhere but on the tool I needed to click on. Good job, me. Something's happening. Leader, hello! Look at the talented artist. I mean, I don't know that I would call copying pasting letters into a document talent, but thank you. I think that is down too low. No, it is in the right spot. I still don't think that's enough. <laughs> I still don't think that's enough space. Uh, yeah, those are those are my books. Um, oh my goodness, the prices look very different in that currency. <laughs>
Um, if you are looking for... Um, are you looking for sci-fi or fantasy? If you're looking for fantasy, I would say look at um, Dreamers Do Lie. Or if you like a little bit more light fantasy, more sort of realistic, um, go for Mystical Island. If you're more into the sci-fi, check out Celestial Serenade. Um, and if you like a kind of blend of the two, check out Eternity's Empire, which is basically magical girls in space. Um, but I can tell you more about any of those projects, depending on what you're looking for. Do androids dream of technological farts? If I had to write that down, Peter, right now, I would just be done. Some people can't even use a computer correctly. You know what, leader? That is a good point. Also, how are you doing? I feel like it's been so long since I talked to you. What is up, my friend? Why is this word so long? I feel like these labels aren't so bad when the words are short, but when the words are long, man, it just feels like it takes an hour to do one of them. If we ever finish this label, I'll start the I'll start the writing timer again. Getting through my days at work and then gaming and streaming, been going out with friends a lot more. That's good to hear. I'm starting to realize that I've been able to uh starting to realize that I've been able to really talk to you or ghost or collie or any of those hoops in a while. So I wanted to say hi. Well we appreciate it. I know what you mean about life being jam-packed recently. We've been feeling the same. Balance is hard, but we appreciate you stopping by when you can. I'll be sure to let ghosts know that you said, hey, I can't even English. Listen, words are hard. We know that on the stream. I totally thought technological in was it. And I was like, is it like an Airbnb in the cloud? That would be amazing. Sadly, that is not the word we're going for. If it was, we'd be done and I'd be thrilled. These don't even look like real words to me at the moment. That's, that's, <laughs> that's where my brain is right now. Two more letters, guys. Two more letters. I'm gonna have to move the canvas. I'm gonna have to increase the canvas size again. Why is this my life? I have only myself to blame for this, but you know what? <laughs> That's an easy little short story you could make. Maybe, maybe someday, maybe we'll someday we'll write that one on Stram for one of our prompts. All right, I think that's spelled correctly. It's done! Technological innocence. 
which I no longer have after having to spend three hours writing this word. What even chapter? Chapter 10. So we've got six of these left. Six of these left to go. I don't even know if I'm going to get them all done today, guys. And I need to upload this book, like, today. <laughs> oh, laugh so you won't cry. Coming along. Coming along! I ain't even going to worry about the canvas size. I'm just going to select these and hit that and be done. Uh, let me see. Did Amazon deliver my package yet? Do we know if it's out there? It still says out for delivery. I'll wait. I'll wait to check it. Oh my goodness. The next one's long, but it's at least short words. Do I have an and somewhere? We have an A. Do we have an N? An Ann? <laughs> All right. All right, words. Be that way. Be that way. I have only myself to blame for this. Uh, I ordered a cross stitch kit to make for a member of the community. I don't know if said member of the community is um, lurking, so I don't know if um, they will end up seeing uh, the kit when it gets here. Uh, but I just want to show everyone my new art project. Um, I won't be starting it for a while. I have to finish. I'm going to finish Beauty and the Beast, uh, which I'm back stitching on now. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do the rest of the cross stitching for the horse, uh, for Wolf's horse. And then I'm going to uh, start on the T one for vinyl. So I probably won't start the owls until I finish up with the horse. But I got a deal. They were on sale, four of them for like 25 bucks. So I will pray for you. Thank you, leader. Appreciated. This chapter title, fun fact, references a specific character. need to I need to unbound unbind my hair and rebind it because um it's drying and it's getting tight <laughs> like I said the joys of having long hair
All right, I have to have a two somewhere. Tell me I have a two. I do. My hair has also been getting pretty long and is starting to annoy me sometimes because of the stray wisps that get loose from my hair tie and or hat. Yes, a hundred percent. I know, I know that pain, that exact pain, leader. I really need to get a trim, but it's going to be a while, so, you know, I did actually straighten it for part of the week. And that was nice, but I don't want to do that, like, all the time. Today I was lazy. Today it was a I don't care bun. But my hair was still wet when I threw it up there, so I'll have to take it down and redo it. Man, I feel like this has more words in it, but it's going so much faster than the last. The last one felt like it took three hours. Just have ghosts give you a haircut? No. Um, I am very, extremely picky about who touches my hair. Um, so that will not be happening. <laughs> also, my hair needs uh, very specific layers, um, which is one of the reasons why I'm so picky about it. So even like during the pandemic, I didn't want to trim my hair like at all because... Uh, it would have messed up the layers, which is what it needs in order to curl nicely. Uh, I might actually... Where's my... I might nudge these a tiny bit closer together. Perfect. An honor to his name. Referencing a specific character. It's chapter 11, which means we have five of these left. Five. This one should be easy because I can copy half of it. Uh, no. We're starting here. 
I almost started with the second word. That wouldn't have been helpful. Uh, probably, oh yeah, let me run the, I uh, keep forgetting, let me run that writing timer one more time for anyone who's writing, and I think once that timer runs down, we are probably not going to be finished with all of these, um, but I think at that point I will take a break and eat some lunch, uh, so we will get as many of these in as we possibly can, but we probably will not get all of them in. Time to sleep. Back to early European morning. Cademon, thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And thank you for talking about some of your favorite books and stuff. I will, I have that link open so I can check out that book that you sent uh, after stream. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I won't be around again until next week, but I will try to see you hanging out on the webs. Angel Faye off to bed as well. Good night. Sleep well. Good luck with uh, the, the plot outlining. Ah, I've done a bad. There we go. <laughs> I should really lock those those uh, guides. <laughs> that way that won't happen. Rum. It I really wish uh that was the whole <laughs> I really wish that was the whole chapter title. Rum is my favorite, though, especially the Kraken Spice Rum.
Look at that. That's how we do. That's how we like to do right there. Rumors about rumors. Perfect. Chapter 11. I think. Yeah. Nope. Chapter 12. Heck yeah. This next one is going to be an interesting one. Let me, let me just go check the door quick, <laughs> out of curiosity. No luck. Usually this particular company um, delivers around this time, so I was hoping that the package would be there, but it's just not there yet. Sad face. All right, so I'm actually gonna have to steal something from another font, I think. Oh no, I might be able to use these little circles. Now, theoretically, I just made this knot, so hopefully it's the right size. Question mark? Yes. I'm not sure why the previous ones aren't the same size, but I'll take what I can get. I feel like anything that begins with do not is aimed at me. Listen. It's your choice, Peter. What you do is your choice. I'm not here to judge. <laughs> I 
Luckily, this one is going to be getting fast, which pleases me. Do not cross the streams. That is a thing that you should not do. Except apparently when you should do it, which is confusing. Very happy with that one. It's what, chapter 13? That means we only have three more! You guys! The last two are long, of course they are. Do not cry for me, Argentina. Do not cry in general, but definitely Argentina should not cry. Peter, I almost just spit coffee everywhere. <laughs> Is the next one, do not not cry. No, it would be really easy if that was... Uh... <laughs> It'd be really nice, um, but it's not... Oh, I wish I already had some of these words made. We're so close to the end now. We're so close to the end. Love the song Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. <laughs> the truth is, I never left you. All through my wild days, my mad existence. Actually, just the whole um, soundtrack for that movie I love. AB Coffee! Hello, hello! How's it going? We will be wrapping up soon, but how are you? the T, the distance should be smaller. Finishing up a long week. Got some visual noveling done this afternoon. Well, I'm glad to hear you got some visual noveling done. And 
Uh, I'm glad that, that the week is over if it's been particularly long for you. I have a light workload today and I'm kind of glad for it because my writing brain is just done. I've been pushing hard with the writing and stuff. I've got some non-writing stuff to do today and it's nice because uh, my brain is just like, I don't, I don't have words for you today. Do you have any plans for the weekend, AB Coffee? Just Valentine's stuff, going golfing a couple weeks from now. Nice. We have a friend's birthday, um, uh, Mr. Roboto. People who've heard me talk about him before. It is his birthday this weekend. So we are hopefully going to an escape room and to dinner um, with him and some friends tomorrow. And then uh, once we get back, we will be doing some, uh, <clears throat> some monster camp with Jay Chili and Bard Owl. So tomorrow is gonna be a fun day and then Sunday is gonna be a freaking lazy day because I'm gonna be tired from all the uh, interactions with people. Now is when my brain is like, if I had started on time, I would be done with these by now. Oof. I have two more, uh, but they are long ones. So I might call it here because it is 1.30 and I do need to get some food in and I actually have more wiggle room in my afternoon schedule than usual. Um, plus, I'm not sure how exciting these labels even are. So um, I got, we'll spare you guys from the last two. Uh, for anyone who's wondering, the last two chapters are called 23 Seconds and The Understatement of the Century. If they were short and quick, I would do them, uh, I would do them now and just, uh, eat late. But, uh, they're gonna take four flipping ever. Um, so it's hecking cold where you are, AB Coffee. It snowed here yesterday. It's bright and sunny today, though. Probably still cold, but I hate it when it's hecking cold. Uh, let's see who's, let's see who's streaming. Not to just all of a sudden cut off and go, but I gotta eat some food. It's food time. Who's doing stuff? 
Who is doing stuff? And who haven't we raided in a while? Who is doing, who's doing things? Um, I might do... I don't do a lot of uh, these types of streams, so um, I might head over actually to the Moco Maid channel. Um, I've talked about them, I think, before, and we've raided into them from Flutter's channel. They're a much bigger channel, so normally I tend to stick to smaller channels within the community um, and that sort of thing, but uh, the Moco um, siblings, uh, Devin and Derek, are super awesome, super high energy, uh, just really altogether nice people. I hang out in their uh, streams a lot in the morning uh, before I get started, usually over breakfast. Um, they are just super energetic to everyone, no matter your size or your skill. Um, they heavily encourage people to do their art and to share their art. In fact, they start all of their streams uh, every morning doing something they call sharding, which is they will share the art of everyone who has posted in their Discord. I've posted um, my book covers in there before. I have posted my cross stitch. They're always super encouraging. Um, so we are very tiny compared to um, their channel. They're, they're pretty massive. I think they made partner recently. Um, so normally I wouldn't do this, this kind of raid, but these two are super awesome well worth a follow if you've not uh, hung out in their stream before. They don't necessarily do productivity. They've said many, many times that they are more of a just chatting stream wherein art sometimes happens. But I think they're a really great channel to follow because if you're having a low day, if you need some encouragement, they are always the first people to tell you to go for it, to tell you to do, to do your art, to be proud of your art, to share your art. Um, and that goes, that goes for writing too. They've been very encouraging to me and they pretty much got me to, um, 500 followers. They rated me. They just did this massive raid on me one day and they got me like 25, 30 followers in a day. Um, so they're super awesome. If you stream, if you're hanging out in the chat and you are a streamer, let them know because they will shout you out and, and do all the stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to drop in over there. Um, they're super great to hang out with, like I said. Um, they're doing Legos right now, I think. Um, and they're hanging out with someone who I'm not familiar with. Um, but he's got a sword, so that seems pretty cool. <laughs> um, so we're gonna head over there. Um, and it's Friday, so a nice, um, chill, cool place to hang out. Um, I don't know what my schedule will be for next week. I am going to try to do three writing streams. One of them will hopefully be another um, Kryptonia short. Uh, last time we did Kryptonia stuff, we talked about the setting, um, sort of the prior setting, the um, the world that fell in order to create Ash Valoran, the, the Kryptonian Empire. I would like to do some stuff with the Pantheon of Gods. I'd like to talk a little bit more about um, how their stories interconnect and maybe make some actual like um, stories that can be read or discovered during um, the play sessions. Um, just to flesh out the Pantheon a little bit more because it is an important part of the setting and I think it would be really fun. I've done myths and legends and that sort of thing before with my worlds. Um, not as much on stream, but I've certainly done those kinds of prompts before and they're always really fun because you can get a little bit crazy because um, it's a story about a story, right? Um, so it'd be fun and interesting to do that sort of thing. Um, so we'll probably do that on Friday and I'll hopefully do um, some more Aravalia and some more Everyone's Child as usual. Um, until then, Smooth Jazz is out Monday. I 
if I can type my own command. Smooth Jazz is out Monday for anyone who's interested. This paperback will be finished by then and should hopefully be available. If not, it will be up by Tuesday. Sometimes it takes a little extra time for it to go through and link together. So if you don't see it Monday, check back on Tuesday. And um, to celebrate the release on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next week, I will of course remind people of this next week, uh, the end of all things is actually going to be free for a couple of days at the end of next week. So I will be notifying people of that on the Discord, my Twitter, everything. We will talk about that next week. Until then, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Let me actually start the raid, lol. Uh, feel free to use any emotes that you would like um, and just get ready for a warm welcome over at the uh, MoCo channel. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. Seriously, this was a long week for me too. And like I said, my brain is tired from all the writing I've been doing lately. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a break, being a little bit more social and just not thinking too hard for a while. Going to an escape room to not think too hard, but going with a brainiac who will probably get us out. He got us out the last time. <laughs> Take care, my friends. I love you all. You're amazing. Thank you for making this particular task very, very much less miserable uh, than it would have been if I had been doing it alone. Uh, and I, I will see you all again soon with the clicky clacking that you love so much. Please take care.